the button has been pressed. Hello, haters. So today we are going to travel together to Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Sarah Bemerat, I am here. And now I'm, I'm committed fully right now. So no more fun, no more meeting anybody. Uh, What's your name? Uh, what's your name, husband? My name is Marseille. <laughs> it's not even sure. Marseille. Oh, okay. Uh, and my name is Fatima. <laughs> Thank you. Why did I go to Dubai in the first place? I write, I'm a journalist, and I write for the magazine called Youth Time. But aside from writing, they also have Youth Time magazine movement, which is super amazing, and you all should check out if you're young people who are passionate about their ideas and want to translate them to the others. Hello guys, my name is Ekaterina. I come from Russia, but I currently live in Spain. And it's so cool because I got this opportunity to be here at Youth Time Global Forum. I met all these lovely people from all over the world. Can you tell where um, you are from? My name is Naveen. I'm from Pakistan. Youth Global, Global Forum gave me a great opportunity to learn more and more and be confident. And yes, for sure, they give me a many, many lots of friends around the globe and she is one of them. I'll be remembering forever. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Salima. You? I'm from Pakistan too. And uh, I just want to say enjoy this time. Youth has power to change. And so boost up your confidence and enjoy. And who are you? Can you introduce well, yourself? me, yeah. <laughs> I'm Shindir Veluli and I come from Kosovo. I'm one of the 60th uh, time ambassadors and it's really a pleasure to be here surrounded by these three beautiful girls. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, it's time. time. And here I am with Maria from Serbia. Hi guys, I'm from Serbia. I currently live in Italy. Do you feel this boost of energy? Oh my god, I'm like super energetic and all the flags there are people from all over the world. Even crazy Jonathan from Hawaii. One more. Hi, Look at Jonathan. Hi. <laughs> Show us your craziness. There is not enough craziness in this video. Mwah. Oh, here he is. <laughs> Alright, keep rolling, keep rolling. I am Erica from Mexico. I'm Samantha from the US. And I'm Renat from Russian Federation. So three different countries united Ooh. by one thing. And what is yeah. this one thing? We love you time. <laughs> we love you time, yeah. Yay. We love traveling, we love learning something new. Some French. 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 Yes. And yeah. it's a great opportunity to enhance your intercultural intelligence. Get a global birth global perspective and meet new people. It's a wonderful experience. I don't get tired of meeting new people. And here is another participant. Hello, my name is Niwa and I'm from Indonesia. U-Time is the most boring forum <laughs> and I've been in U-Time for like seven or eight times and I keep meeting boring people here. Yeah, it's not worth coming at all, guys. Not Just at all. don't come to don't come, time. Ever. Super boring stuff like ever. and yeah. No. We're not having fun here at all. In fact, I'm crying all so day. Yeah. Yes, boring, super boring. <laughs> Say use time louder. Use time. <laughs> One, two, three. Use time. Use time international movement. I will put the link below this video so you can check out their website and they organize international youth forum and also summer schools every year so normally they have at least two events a year and everybody is encouraged to apply this is not a commercial nothing like that I'm just a writer for them uh, but I just think it's an excellent opportunity while you're young to meet your peers to meet like-minded people to do cool things together and also learn a lot of important things about uh, entrepreneurship how young people can change the world and I mean okay it might sound cheesy to you you might be skeptical about conferences that doesn't matter if you really want to change your life a little bit I think this is an effort that's worth making On behalf of the young people in my country, Ghana, I would love to say a very big thank you for giving us this opportunity to liberate my people. Thank you so much for choosing me to lead young entrepreneurs, social entrepreneurs in my country. And I promise to do my best to train them and to give them all the information that they need to come up with solutions that my country needs to move forward. And if my country moves forward, 
that means that Africa will move forward. And if Africa moves forward, that means that the whole world is moving forward. Thank you all so much. I've been an activist since um, about the age of 15, 16, 17. I can't even remember. And a lot of people are asking, how did you get into NGOs, into working uh, with young people? And the answer, being curious about things, applying for things, and then going there. Altogether in my life, I've been to about maybe 20, 30, I don't know, many, many conferences. And um, all of it is hard work. I don't want to tell you that. I went there just because I'm so lucky. Part of it was luck, but maybe 90% is hard work and it takes a long time to fill in applications, to try to think about creative ways of filling them in. Because if you're just writing the same stuff all over again, I guarantee you, you're not going to be accepted. But even if you are super creative, sometimes it's simply luck. So you have to accept rejections, but you also have to believe in yourself and try to apply for a lot of cool opportunities while you're a young person. Something that always inspires me is young people and Youth Time magazine and international movement, perfect platforms where you can go to meet young people, like-minded people and um, yeah, it might sound cheesy but really change your life. Yep, try it. Time and yeah. there is a sunset, we just witnessed beautiful, yeah, beautiful yeah, it's sunset. So amazing. Oh, I just don't have words really, these moments are so special in life when they happen. It. I just wish I could prolong them. Feeling all the way. You are not in the car but with I've me, how you would like you know this? <laughs> no, that's not car. true, so not true. Liar, liar, liar. I'm okay. a liar. <laughs> yes, you are. Camels are asleep. I asked the same question in the car and he told me that they're asleep. Because they do it in the morning with the camels. I really like this story where the person complains to God, oh God, why I'm so unlucky, why nothing comes to me, why my life is so bad while the other is having an amazing life. And the God looks at him and he says, or oh, she says, because I believe God can be a woman, but have you tried to buy a lottery ticket? So that's kind of a concept for me, and unless you try, there are so many doors in this life, a lot of them are locked, but some of them are amazingly easy to open, <laughs> but a lot of people, they just don't even try to come close to these doors, I'm not even saying knocking on these doors, and sometimes all it takes is one knock and the door opens. I came to Dubai Mall right now, it's really crazy with all the fishes and sharks and uh, many, many shops. It's really an enormous place. I'm going to explore it now and then go to Burj Khalifa. Lots of sharks behind me. I even managed to climb the tallest building in the world called Burj Khalifa. So, if you want to save 115 euros and I want to enter the tallest building in the world, or maybe you have fear of hate, just follow my vlog. Apparently the construction of the building started in 2004 and then rapidly, like almost everything in the United Arab Emirates, it got built and it's pretty impressive. That's me, 77 seconds, you would be up 1125. The high speed of 9 meters per second, the speed of this lift. One minute and five seconds. And now they told me this is the top, top floor because below you can see some people taking pictures. Now I climbed floor 125. And actually, when we were going up, I think I started to feel it with my ears because it's really, really tall. 
use it quite amazing. Lots of people, but uh, it's definitely worth climbing it up if you can. And yeah, check out all the coupons and coupons and it's much, much cheaper. So, yeah, let me finish exploring it. And after Dubai, there was Abu Dhabi. And I was really lucky to have friends there who showed me around and told me some really interesting stories. Now I'm with this lovely girl from Serbia, the friend that I just made uh, at the Youth Time event, Ivana. And uh, we are going to Abu Dhabi together. Are you excited to go to Abu Dhabi? Yeah, I can't wait to see the, the things in Abu Dhabi. And I hope it's a little bit smaller than Dubai because Dubai is so huge and so... And disconnected. No, yeah, so disconnected. The, the distances in Dubai. I didn't expect it's gonna be that big. To be I honest. was thinking like street, big beach, and big buildings. But yeah. it's, <laughs> it's, it's not it's like much, that. It's much, much wider. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a while to get to places. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard that Abu Dhabi is like one million something, and yeah. Dubai is two million. So, yeah, we, we hope so that we will have a good time <laughs> and see a little bit yeah. less space. And as you can see, the bus is. Um, packed with people but everybody in uh, United Arab Emirates is so nice to us like I was really surprised like yeah. people in the public transport we took metro a lot and it was a lot of respect to a woman a lot of respect in every shop in every in every single corner you get like they want to help you and they want to speak and they want to show yeah. that they understand English and everything so well done guys you want to come back to your country because of this because that's the best part of any travel experience when you're treated nicely and look what else we have we got some bananas <laughs> bye bye really cold and have to go inside now my lips are shivering but I always prefer to film outside because I don't know it's better lighting I think it gives a more lively vibe to the viewers um, yeah but stay with me please okay I don't know why it's so cold it's pain it's supposed to be warm I'm living like in the warmest country and I'm freezing I'm wearing like this jacket and god come on it should be warmer Hey guys, uh, this is my friend Ari and uh, he's so wow. kind to show me beautiful Abu Dhabi and we just came to our seven, seven stars hotel, is yeah. it? Yeah, it's one of uh, three only seven star hotels, it's called the Emirates Palace uh, and this is the lobby, this is uh, where guests used to enter from but not anymore. It's, uh, Everything's in gold location. here yeah, apparently, this is the center location. it's impressive. Uh, they gold plate everything. There's a gold vending machine, gold vending machine which we didn't find yet. <laughs> we are going we to find it. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's, yeah. It's really insane. And they filmed a couple of films in here. And yeah, um, yeah it's like walking into the museum. It really yeah. doesn't feel like the hotel even. No, 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 no. Pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't think even the video can do the whole justice to this and now the prayer is happening so we have to be quiet but well, it's, it's like a fairy tale place really. I'm in Sheikh Said Mosque inside right now and this is beyond the words I'm so impressed I could just like spend here forever because it's just such a magical place. The time to leave this magical place. We were so lucky to see it. Uh, it keeps falling. Uh, to see it during um, sunset. And now it's already dark. But it was truly a magical hour. And that's what I recommend to everyone. Just come here when it's still light, but also manage to see the dark. It's both beautiful. So I came to Louver, took um, a long drive, and um, found wrong information on the internet saying that it should be working until 10 p.m. But it's closing at 8. So here I am waiting for my friends to come and pick me up now. Sadly, didn't see anything, but it's a good reason to come back one day. The beauty of vlogging is that you can even finish from your bed. 
which I'm currently doing because I got too cold and I already have a little cold. I don't want to get it worse. So here I am in my PJs, feeling comfy talking to you guys. If you're still watching this till the very end, you deserve like a postcard or something. So yeah, send me your details. I'll send you a postcard. I'm for real. I was such a loser. I tried to go to Louvre. Yeah, you heard it right with my horrible French pronunciation. In Abu Dhabi, they opened this huge art space, which is called Louvre. And at first I was like super, like, why would you call it Louvre, you know, if there is already a Louvre in Paris. The collection travels from France to Louvre in Abu Dhabi, uh, which is kind of cool. And I was like, okay, I would like to go and see it. And being a loser that I am, I read wrong information and I came and it was closed. So I ended up um, speaking to super nice securities there and yeah, just waiting for my friend to come and pick me up. But I don't want my vlog to end on the sad note of me being a loser because I'm not a loser. I don't know when or what, <laughs> that's part of the problem. What do I say now? I always dream of having like super elegant ending of my vlog and I can never come up with anything creative. If you have ideas, any thoughts, any hate, just write it in the comments below. I'm ready to accept it all. And subscribe to my vlog because it matters to me, because it makes me happy, because it makes me smile. It makes me less of a loser in life. Yoko Viket!